Another for Lara, the World Economic Forum is announcing today the list of technology pioneers. What is the class of technology pioneers 2010? Well, we have 26 companies that are active in the fields of clean tech, of information technology and telecommunications and new media, and health and biotechnology. They come for the second year in a row, actually, from four continents from throughout the world. And uh, we really think that they represent the cutting edge in technology, innovation and entrepreneurship. It looks like the US companies are predominant on this year's list. That's true in a sense. Uh, what is interesting this year is that we had 300 applications from throughout the world. This year we saw the increase of applications from many of the so-called BRICS or emerging markets. So we had more applications than ever from China, from India, from some countries in Africa and Latin America. At the end of the day, it's true, we have approximately two-thirds of the class coming from uh, the US. Um, many of the entrepreneurs actually that are based now in the US are originally from other countries and then moved their companies to the US where probably we still observe the best climate for expanding companies, for access to talent, for access for, uh, to capital. So I think that's also in line with the results of our studies on competitiveness, uh, that the US is still the center for innovation in many cases. But innovation is happening in throughout the world. We have the first tech pioneers this year from Brazil. We have the first tech pioneers this time uh, from South Africa. So a uh, very diverse class that reflects also the growing and very wide range of innovation in the globe. Can you give us some examples of the companies selected this year? Sure, we have many, many interesting companies. I think for the biotech and health, we have one company that is using uh, photonics, semiconductor uh, technology, and the useful techniques of biotech to um, pro sequence the DNA. Um, that's uh, Pacific Biosciences. We have in the energy environment technologies examples like uh, companies that are working on fuel cell technology that it's really different from what we've seen in the past using very inexpensive ceramic materials. That's Bloom Energy based out of California. Um, we have some water uh, waste treatment um, companies, technologies, a pyramid from Luxembourg that will revolutionize how Water is treated in many cities throughout the world with a very portable water treatment uh, plant. Um, we have in the information technology one very well-known name right now, but only difficult to believe that they are only uh, older than three years. Uh, Twitter microblogging revolutionized the way of we communicate with each other and we update uh, and even how companies and and many other outlets outlets uh, communicate with each other. Um, we have actually several companies working on the realm of cloud computing and living up to the promise. There is Ring Central working on that. There is the Lithium Networks making access available for very heavy mobile video content uh, available to the masses. We have as well the entertainment of social networks, Play Fish, which was actually acquired. We had the selection of the tech pioneers at the end of September. They were acquired beginning of November, just before this announcement was made, but uh, very proud to have this uh, pioneer in the social gaming arena. Um, so very exciting bunch of companies, 26 of them. Uh, there are the videos, you can watch the videos with many of the CEOs or founders at the end of the, in, in our website, actually. One last question, how are these companies chosen every year? So we go through a very rigorous selection process. We get applications from a variety of sources. So either from our website, uh, the general public can nominate companies that they believe fit the main criteria for the technology pioneers. Um, our network of partners, professors, media leaders, uh, they many times also uh, provide us with the names of those up-and-coming companies that we should keep a, a watch on. So once we have this list of nominations, we go through the fair internal round in the forum with our industry experts to determine whether these companies really um, fulfill the five main criteria of the award. Once we have a short list, uh, they are invited to co submit a complete application that will be then evaluated by um, selection committee, which is composed by approximately 50 experts in technology from throughout the world, uh, professors, venture capitalists, chief technology officers, and other innovation experts that evaluate the companies against the criteria, and then finally make a recommendation to the managing board of the World Economic Forum. The managing board of the World Economic Forum takes a final decision, and then 
the result is this year 26 companies. Actually, they join now a field of more than 400 companies that have been selected throughout 10 years of the Technology Pioneers program. And one interesting statistic is that of those 400 companies, 80% are still in operations. Uh, it's a remarkable figure for a startup, either independently or they have, some of them have been acquired, or many of them actually have been acquired by uh, some of the leader players in technology as well. So very proud to have the new class of uh, 2010 joining the, the community of technology pioneers of the forum.